It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You will note that my face is glowing and my smile is a little wider than it normally is because we have the opportunity to connect with one of my favorite human beings. Uh, our next guest is a South African icon, and I'm sure she gets tired of hearing that, but certainly not tired of her role and responsibility as that. And performing artist, entrepreneur, teacher, humanitarian, she lives so many different lives. She's traveled the globe performing for the world's leaders and superstars, as well as advocating for social justice, education, and economic empowerment, specifically for women and girls. She is the voice we need right now, and she also happens to be the princess of Africa. Let's welcome back, give a feel-good welcome to Dr. Yvonne Chaga Chaga. <laughs> yes! The intros are never long enough because you just keep doing more. Uh, every year it feels like I have to add another page to your resume, which is wonderful. I often worry, though, that you have this, and I called it the mantle of responsibility earlier. Do you feel that you have this responsibility because you sit in this privileged position Obviously, everyone knows and trusts you, yes, but no one's ever given you the choice. You've just been thrust into this platform. Do you still feel now where we are in this crazy time? Do you feel that responsibility that you've got to keep doing what you do every day? Well, thank you once again, Graham. I think the responsibility is needed more now with all the really? atrocities that are happening, with the gender-based violence, with intolerance of the LGBTQI community, it's like we are redress regressing. Instead of going forward, appreciating one another, working with people, I mean, you know, these communities get killed. And who gives us the right to do that? So for me, it's about inclusivity. It's about human rights. It's yeah. about tolerating one another. And I mean, South Africa is the only country where grannies get raped, yeah. where two-year-olds get raped and killed. So there's a lot of schooling that needs to be done. Something is broken. Yeah, and, we are and... a broken society. And I really don't know who to blame. But uh, I think we need to go back to the drawing board and go back to Ubuntu Beitu. Yeah. And maybe there is an opportunity to do it now like we've never had. The world is more connected than we've ever been. Um, not to use the cliche of COVID, but I'm starting to see as the dust settles, a human connection now. It seems to be so much more important to us to be connected in this way. And we have an opportunity in our industry to be able to do this. How do you feel right now? Are you positive? You've always been inspirational and you always seem to have this wonderful positive energy. When you look at this polarized world that we live in right now, are you hopeful? Are you scared? Where is Yvonne's heart right now? Oh, I'm, I'm really, uh, I really don't know what to say. I'm in cloud nine. Hey. You know, one minute I'm scared, one minute I'm hopeful. I mean, with the social media, we are so connected. We live in this global space, but you find other people who found this place or this space, which is social media, you know, to be inspirational, to be chatting and start dissing others and start insulting others, faceless people. Breaking people down. And breaking people's hearts. And it becomes very, very sad. But you know what? We are all here for a purpose. And remember, God loves us all and he does not have stepchildren. Mm -hmm. So he loves us all. And it's, it's, it's okay for people to feel good for themselves. You know, people who have absolutely nothing to do, they feel good when they hurt or diss others. But those who have a purpose and know what they are here for, they will always, you know, continue growing and, and, and seeing the good out of others and in others. Uh, and even if you can just do that for one person, it's amazing that knock on effect. I've got to ask you this question because I think in, in my side of the industry, everyone's like, ah, it's time for you to move on and youngster must take your place. But there is a ladder that needs to be climbed and those climbing the ladder are as important as those lifting Absolutely. up. Absolutely. What's the secret? How do you stay relevant? And I'm speaking to the artists that are in that window right now grappling with this. How do you ensure that you have a career like yours and stay relevant and stay impactful in that space? Uh, you know, Graham, I don't know about relevance. For me, it's who you are, what you stand for, and what you believe in. I'm grateful to people like Miriam Makeba, Dolly Ratebe, Lira, you know, I mean, what a beautiful girl, Zolani, 
you know, um, Zahara, all the young ones coming up because we've been inspired by those who came before us. And exactly. we are being inspired by those who are here. So for me, it's not about relevancy. It's about knowing your space and knowing your lane and staying in your lane. Authenticity. And being authentic. Completely. Yeah. You've taken what you do onto a completely different platform. When you say you're there to empower, it's not just lip service. You've got to create frameworks to empower, especially women and girls. You've created a woman-only radio station. And I feel like I have to say, whoa, man, um, when we say it. It's incredible. What's that journey been like? And what has been some of the, the most inspirational moments in that space now that you're giving that platform for, for young talent to take their place? You know, today I was supposed to have been in New York at the General Assembly, it starts. But I decided I wanna to come to Expresso. Of course. You know, um, I know all my friends and all the people that I work with are in New York for the UNGA right now. But for me, starting Woman Radio for the past 17 years, working with uh, the UN as a, a, as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, as a NEPAT Goodwill Ambassador, I felt the need that, you know, women have to start expressing themselves, which they are. And woman radio, you know, what is a woman? We're all men, but those of us who bring life into this world are well-organized men, <laughs> therefore women. I love that. So you can't be talking about women's issues when you don't bring them to the table. Representation. Representation is something that's very, very important. So at Woman Radio, we talk about LGBTQI, we talk about transgenders, we talk about women's issues, we talk about the things that are happening now. So you can't cut my hair if I'm not there. Nothing for me without me. Completely. I'm beginning to understand as I check my privilege daily on this wonderful platform, platform that we have. Representation is probably the most important platform at the moment. This whole time I'm looking at you, listening to your words of wisdom, and I'm thinking, what is your skincare regime? Because you just look gorgeous. <laughs> um, Mama, I absolutely adore you. I think you Thank know how much we care about you. I absolutely adore you, and I appreciate the fact that you dissed the whole world to come and be on the Espresso studio floor this morning. We really appreciate you, but on behalf of the women and girls who you are empowering in such a fundamental way, thank you, Mama. We love You're you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me.